Yeah. You're going at a, at a um, 90 degree angle against the grain right here. That's what gives you that look. That's what's called quarter zone. What's going on guys? And welcome back to the honey set. We've got our neighbors over and we are helping them mill up some wood from their property to build a couple of projects for themselves. I know that they want a mantle and I know that they want shelving. This is some of their wood, which I believe it's red oak and white oak and uh, fun. Let's go mill some wood. measure it. You want to finish look like this. Yeah, I want to cut it. For about, the shelves, yeah. Cut it about three-eighths of an inch um, bigger than what we want. Oh, because when you yeah. kill it, it'll... Yeah, yeah exactly. and when you... But look at the detail already. This is going to be... Are you got a tape measure? Yeah, he's got one. This is going to be really pretty. Look at all the... Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious to compare the red oak mm -hmm. with the... Oh, oak. yeah. Yeah, it's going to look really nice. That's that a, should be 15 inches. And I think the other one's 16 or 17. But then make sure, like when we cut it, you're going to want to, because we're gonna, you're gonna sand it, we're gonna plane it, um, so you're gonna want it a little bit bigger. Yep. And then so we've now, learned <laughs> instead of a broom, we bring our. You our, guys can uh, look at which way the you know the you grains want, go. Yeah, and figure out which side you want to, to look at. So this is an inch and seven eighths right now, so we'll probably cut it two and a quarter, two and three eighths, two and a quarter. So we're gonna be shooting for like an inch and three quarters, an inch and seven eighths. Watch your eyes. Yeah. I gave up my safety glasses. So. <laughs> but <laughs> we found out that using the uh, the leaf blower works a lot better than bringing a broom out. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna have some really pretty detail. So gorgeous. I think keep keep it way there. Take a couple more inches off this side. Um, I think you take one more off this one, then we flip it over. You want to do one more off of this? Okay, yeah, get rid of some of that. Yeah, get rid of this board right here. Honestly, I think it, now, that's, a, that's a really good board though with a live edge. Now, are we just cut? What what are y'all cutting this for? We cut it for shelving, the shelf. mantle. Well, we're not going to mix red oak and white oak on the shelving though. No, so, correct. Okay. We're going to cut this one just the shelves, just the boards anyway. But we'll likely do more white oak. Well, wait till you see when that we can keep cutting cut trees. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. can bring over more trees. <laughs> I, I, we just want to cut this one to like the actual thickness of shelves, and we'll you do anything with it. Okay. What I think you need to see this versus that. Okay. Okay. Like, cool. Side by side. Yeah. Yeah. Because red oak and white oak are completely they're they're different. Yeah. One of the things that I want to do is when we redo our kitchen, I would love to have like, we've got a couple of really big black walnuts and I wouldn't mind doing black walnut uh, countertop for the island. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, hold it.
the hardest part is getting it off. So, yeah, it does. Well, where's that blower? Uh, on the back of the side by side. I look at look at that. Yeah. Oh, this looks like a really cool. This would be a cool time. See how many people use like use the trees as fence lines or nails. There, think about how old that what Oh, I know. Is. So we'll see once he puts the metal detector on it why it actually. I think we, hit, I think we might have hit a piece of metal. Oh, that's rotten right there. Well, that would make sense if there is a piece of nail there. That's where it allows the moisture in. This tree had a nail in it, but I think it was like an old square nail. Um, I'll show you really quick on this piece of wood, but we have to change out the, the blade again, which it happens. But this is this is the nail. I wonder how old that is. I mean, that's so probably old. We cut. How much does a tree grow per year? Oh gosh, and this is in the center. Well, you can check the grains of it. I mean, yeah. I mean, so. it, you still got six feet. That's yeah, that's pretty cool. We'll, yep. we'll Regardless, when you hit metal, it wears down the blade, which gives you this kind of kind of a effect. But that is an old nail. Yep. So you just right on that belt on it. Yep. So I can put tension on it. And yep. You just gotta make you. You feel your finger. You want the blade flush with the back of the uh, the wheel. And that's pretty much it. And then put the cover on because good night if that thing snaps. Oh man, I'm freaking Woo. out here. You double check it. Cut in half. What do you have there? I'm going to take it at night to wait. I'm going to take this out of it and put it right now. Four inches? Yeah. Eight. This. Oh, you put that on the bottom. Yeah. The bottom and the back. Blow it this way, though. Ready. Or when we, we, when we get, get it, it on over. The, uh, tractor first. I want to see it. This one is really pretty. Cat, you should come see. I, I, cool. I like it. I like it. It's amazing it's when you go to, when you mill and you see all the detail. Yeah, this is gorgeous. That is some good stuff. Yeah, it's really pretty. You wanna see what the white oak? I'd like to, yeah. Absolutely. Let's roll with it. We're here. Wow. 
Right here. Oh, oh, stained, yep. So we can take, take it off at the end. Only we'll do the now. chainsaw. Yeah, do. At least right here. Go from here. Oh, look, look. Barbed wire. Oh, yeah. Charles, barbed wire. Yep. Is that what it is? Yep. Probably all over the thing, too. No, it's, it's, the it's just the base. Or, uh, yep. Here. We were able to mill up two gorgeous mantles for them for their house that they are building right up over there, uh, which I'm actually really excited about for them. Uh, they've been good friends of ours for, for quite some time. And um, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what it looks like all said and done. We're going to get them loaded up in the kiln here very soon. Right now, they are working on another gorgeous red oak tree. I think this piece is even prettier than the last one. against the grain right here. That's what gives you that look. That's what's called quarter saw. This right here? Yeah, you can see all these lines. Just a quarter saw. You're, you're basically burning up a whole log just to get like two or three boards like that. Get out Th here. This is yeah. gorgeous. That is really This great. is really, really good lumber. You want to blow it off? Beautiful. Yeah, set it beside that one and I'm going to get this one now and blow it off. Wait, wait. So is this one. Oh, cat. And you can backfill all of this. Now blow those off. Oh my gosh. That's my favorite. I love the quarter saw look. Yeah. When we did the apothecary, anytime we had any of the wood that was done. But it happens when you're cutting the wood. Yeah. That is a fine. Let me get a couple more pieces out of it and see what these end up like. You can backfill all of but this part of me, too. Part of me though wouldn't want to. I yeah. probably just try to sand it. Sand it, stain it, and yeah. leave it with the groove. Very 
Oh. <laughs> These are bad air. Mantles everywhere. <laughs> We went ahead and loaded up all of this gorgeous wood into our solar kiln. It's going to sit here for a good couple of weeks. We're going to come back and check the moisture content. Um, the reason is because you don't want to use green wood um, immediately, especially when you're doing a project. So you want that, that moisture to, to slowly come out of the wood so it won't warp or twist. Now, we did ratchet strap it down and we are using the same species as our, our spacers in between so that it won't mess up the wood or potentially stain it. I wouldn't want to use like a black walnut on something like this uh, because this is red oak. Now we do have some white oak down there and a couple more big old chunks of red oak that we're going to mill up on a, on a later date. Now a little bit of a backstory between Luke and Kat. Kat is probably one of the most, I mean, honestly, she has got such an eye for design. And when it's time for me to, to redo my house, um, I have a feeling I'm going to be picking her brain because every house that she's ever designed has been just completely, I mean, like Chip and Joanna Gaines, I think Luke and Kat have something on, on ya. But Luke is a builder and he's built many gorgeous houses in this area actually all around so I'm, I'm very excited to see this new house that they're getting ready to, to hopefully move into here in the next couple of weeks and by then this beautiful wood will be probably ready to start being finished and, and I can't wait to see the final product so in a couple weeks we'll check this wood for their moisture content see where it's at see where we need to be so that we can pull it out and, and start planning it and finishing. But thank you guys for coming on this gorgeous day with us and milling some wood for their beautiful home. Can't wait to keep you guys posted on that because it's because I'm sure it's going to be absolutely breathtaking. And as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. Bye guys.